Arsenal Fan TV here with John Artson. Also, you, you remember him for, at Arsenal. People talk about him at West Ham. My West Ham mates always telling me, but Arsenal is where I loved him. Now, Cheers, John, um, I've got to ask you about the manager today. Yeah. It's the big news. It's what everybody's talking about. He signed a new two-year deal. How do you feel about it? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not dead against Arsene Wenger staying on as manager, Robbie. But what I would like Arsene to do, and I know Arsene very well. I played in his very first game. He wanted me to stay at Arsenal, but um, I had obviously two of the best at the time. I had Wrighty and Bergkamp keeping me out of the side. Mm. Several times me and Wrighty played up top and Dennis played in behind in the hole. And I've got nothing but respect for Arsene Wenger. Um, I thought he might have gone on a high. Mm. Um, with the, with the fans back in and everything else and being remembered, they were behind him after the FA Cup. I mean, they were actually singing his name after that. Well, there you go. After which, that win, which is great to hear. Yeah. Um, but I'm not I'm not dead against Arsene Wenger staying. But my point is, I really hope that he goes in for the big players. Mm. That's all I want to see. You know, as a former Arsenal player, I have a soft spot for all my former clubs. I look out for all their results. Um, so. If Lukaku becomes available, we don't know whether he's staying at Everton or not staying at Everton. We don't know. Be in for Lukaku, one of the most sought-after centre-forwards in the Premier League. Uh, Virgil van Dijk mm. at Southampton. Defender, he's, he's an excellent player. It's going to cost £50 million, But you know Chelsea are going to pay it. You know City are going to pay it. And you know Man United are going to spend big. Very big under Mourinho. Mm. And I think what would appease the fans is that... If Arsene Wenger and Arsenal are in for these big names, we missed out on Suarez a few seasons ago because mm. we were stubborn. We wouldn't go the extra mm. whatever it was. Last oh, season, bad. well, there you go. <laughs> Last season, we missed out on Lacazette. Mm. He's had a great season at Lyon this year mm. for the sake of, what, five million. Apparently, they wouldn't spend it. You know, before that, there was Higuain. Now, Juventus have just paid £80 million for Higuain from Napoli. Where are Juventus this Saturday night? Final of the Champions League. Well, there we go. That's my and point. And he's been the top scorer in, so the, in, what the in Arsenal, Serie A. What the Arsenal fans want to, want to see is Arsene to, to go and get a, a, a squad. He's got some great players within that group. They proved that by winning the FA Cup, beating Man City in the mm. semis and then beating the champions, Chelsea. What the fans want to see... They want August the 17th, whenever the first game is, they want a, a, a capable squad with two or three big marquee signings with an Arsenal shirt, enhancing Arsenal's chances to put in a title challenge over 38 games. Mm. And I think that would appease the fans. Mm. I the think question, what, what upsets is... them is that, I say we, Arsenal never seem to go and get the big ones. We Arsenal, missed, we missed yeah. out on Kante. You know, we, we, we missed out on, on other great top mm. players. I was going to say, the question is, what you're saying there is what I've spoken to a lot of fans today and they're saying the same thing. Yeah. Will he do that though? Because he's never really done that, has he? Gotcha. Will he do it? Do you trust him to do that? No. No, because as you said, he's never done it. Um, because this is where the changes are going to have to come in, isn't it? We're going to have to see yeah. a change in what he's previously done in the past. What I don't want to see is for Arsenal to start on fire, um, win their first seven games, be up there, top of the table, be up there till even Christmas, and then have a dip, mm. which they've had several times in the last few years, which stops them winning the title. Because then the likes of Chelsea, who have a bigger squad, um, the likes of Manchester United in, in recent years, the likes of Man City in recent years, if Aguero becomes available, I don't think he will. Mm. Aguero's on 275 grand a week, whatever he's on. Go and get him. I think it goes against the club's grain to, to, to give players masses and massive amounts of money, but he's going to have to do it with Sanchez. Mm. Sanchez is going to be very, very sought after. And also, the problem that you've got is, I'm only, I'm only stating facts, is that can Arsenal now attract the best players on the planet mm. because there's no Champions League? And it's the biggest club competition in world football. All the best players want to play in the Champions League. And Arsenal have not got no Champions League football next season. So you've also got that to think about, which goes against the club. But it's still a great, fabulous football club with a huge worldwide fan base. Mm. Arsene Wenger is a brilliant manager. I just want to see him 
sort of sort of go and spend money the money they tell everybody is there and what would be a cry and shame is in two years time if a new manager comes in and he hasn't got half the knowledge or half the nose of an Arsene Wenger and a new manager gets appointed he spends all the money and then all of a sudden he doesn't go and get the right players Arsene Wenger's got a network of of uh, scouts out there that can spot this talent but the big talent you know the big money players they don't come cheap so I think personally I believe he will have to break the wage structure not only to bring in new players but to also get Sanchez over the line I don't want to sound as if I'm being a bit harsh or or rude uh, towards uh, Mesut Ozil um, I'm not too sure whether Ozil still merits, you know, a, a regular start in place. Mm. He comes in, he plays great two out of four games, and then he's unbelievable, and then he goes missing for three games. I want to see, I want to see him a little bit more consistent. I don't think Ozil gives you that, mm. so uh, I wouldn't be overly concerned if if Ozil left the club, you know, um, mm. and get you get good money for him. But that's what I'd like to see, and I think I'm only talking a little bit of sense, how I see it. And I just think generally the Arsenal supporters... Now, I'm, I'm an Arsenal Wenger fan, I really am, but they're getting increasingly frustrated with, with the lack of title fight and this, cha and this Champions League top four every season, every season. No, it's not quite happened this season. At some, at some stage, it was, it was always going to sort of happen. We were always going to stay out of the top four at one stage. It's been how many years? Six, 17 years on the bounce, whatever. And I, I basically am saying, you know, I think the money's there uh, with, with the owners. Uh, I think um, it's down to Arsene Wenger. That's what I feel that will get 60,000 people into the Emirates, first game of the season, feel good factor, let's have a real title charge. Because no disrespect to this current group, they've got some great players in there. They need a bit of help as well. Mm. They need to look around that dressing room and say, wow, we've just paid 55 million for him. What a player I've got alongside me today. The best. And I think Arsenal fans deserve that, at the very least.